Welcome to Arts in the City. I'm Magali Laguerre Wilkinson at the National Museum of the American Indian, where you'll find Native American art and objects going back thousands of years. Currently, the museum is presenting the Native Fashion Now exhibit. It's Native American fashion like you've never seen before. Native Fashion Now is an exhibition celebrating the incredible depth and breadth of contemporary Native fashion created by artists from the United States and Canada, from dozens and dozens of tribal communities. Karen Kramer is the curator of Native Fashion Now, which originated at the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, Massachusetts. It has traveled around the country, and fittingly, New York City, a fashion capital of the world, is its last stop. It's really an exhibition that unpacks the exciting realms of contemporary native fashion, where art meets fashion, politics, and identity. From the 1950s until today. The exhibition opens with the Pathbreakers, native designers who have broken ground with their new, or let's say renewed vision of native fashion. What better person to start with than Patricia Michaels, who brought a wide audience to native-inspired fashion by being a finalist on season 11 of the show Project Runway. Take in her sleek cityscape dress featured in the show, her handmade parasols, and videos of her work. It shows this holistic vision that Patricia has where she marries her Taos Pueblo worldview with a very modern aesthetic. David and Wayne Nez Goussan's postmodern boa also takes fashion to another level. It is this incredible stainless steel and copper boa that is equipped with feathers that is pushing the envelope on materials and form and what you think native fashion is. Next, we meet the revisitors who refresh, renew, and expand on tradition. Tony Williams fuses Japanese and Native American designs, while Dallin Maybe applies Native motifs on a silk and steel corset and skirt. Margaret Wood creates the modern interpretation of the Navajo blanket dress. Wood was ahead of her time, writing Native American fashion in 1981. Well, I have always said that the Native American women were fabulous artists and craftspeople. I know when the Indian women first saw the first European visitors, I'm sure two of them were standing behind a bush wondering, I wonder if we could get some of those buttons, or they didn't even know what they were, but they knew they were shiny and they thought I could put them on my dress or my skirt. So we were no different then than fashion people are now, really, looking for the new thing. The next new thing can certainly be seen in the section on activators, who merge streetwear with personal style and activism like Jared Yazzie. Jared Yazzie's t-shirt packs quite a punch with four words, Native Americans discovered Columbus. With those four short words, he's really turning history on its head and making us think deeper and look deeper at a really important part of history that we've been told wrongly for dozens and dozens of years. The exhibition ends with the provocateurs, who push the boundaries between art and fashion. Shosho Esquiro, a Casca Dene artist from the Yukon of Alaska, dreamed up this knockout ensemble out of carp skin, animal fur, rooster feathers, and skull. It walked down the runway, but it has a lot of meaning. She created this dress as a part of her Day of the Dead collection, a celebration in Mexico whereby families reimagine a reunion with a departed loved one. So it's a real homage to people that she loves who, is past, who have passed on. Finally, don't miss Carla Hemlock's one-of-a-kind artwork, the treaty cloth shirt. This artist sums up the exhibition best. When it's a native fashion now, it's always been there. It's always been there. And for whatever reason, uh, people didn't see it. And if they don't see it now, I mean, if you look at a lot of the designers you go through, they are a force. They are an incredible force. Native Fashion Now runs through September 4th. <laughs>